we are going to try to have some time still for a Q&A. <laughs> um, Nate, let me start by asking you, what did Nat Turner's story mean to you when you first decided to make the revelation? Uh, well, uh, before I get to that question, first, thank you very much. Thank you so much, you all, for, for being here and watching this film. I need to shout out the people that made this happen. Funny thing, a big portion of our financing came from Canada. So good afternoon, <laughs> our Canadian crew. Well, let's give them a round of applause. Uh, so I have a special affinity for, for, for Canada. Thank you all very much. There's Jason Cloth down there. Thank you so much. He believed in us. He put his money where his mouth was. Supported us. Uh, then to the Fox Searchlight people, could you just wave? Uh, this wouldn't be possible without your support with us. Appreciate it more than you can possibly imagine. I think I speak for everyone on the stage. Uh, Nat Turner. Um, it, it's interesting because I, I didn't learn about Nat Turner in, in high school and uh, I learned about him in college, but the interesting thing was I grew up 42 miles east of where the rebellion happened and there was not even a remnant of, uh, of his exploits. And so when I learned about him, I felt like, man, like, this is this is someone who should be celebrated along the lines of the Patrick Henrys, of the Jeffersons, of, of our forefathers. Uh, and I was so inspired by a story that when I became an actor uh, and decided I would start writing, I felt like this was a story that I felt, you know, historically speaking, could uh, really promote the type of healing we need in the conversation around, around race. I said at the beginning, it's a painful story. I think for anyone watching it, there is no way to avoid the pain of the story. Um, what did it mean, uh, first as a writer, um, and then as a director, to direct this group of actors through very painful history, um, and to get them to the place where they could imagine themselves back in, in uh, Nat Turner's time? Well, well, I can't, I mean, let's make no mistake. The, the talent, I think, speaks for itself. Uh, it was, thank you, it was, uh, You know, Nina Simone has this quote where she says, the artist's job is to reflect the times. Uh, and as artists, I think we all got together and understood the, the possibility that could come from a film, a film like this. And then we all just worked hard to make it happen. Um, I, I would, I'm gonna let someone else speak, but it felt like there was no, ever, never a hierarchy in our, on our set. It felt like everyone that came to work every day was given the same respect of the next person and they were, they were valued uh, at that contribution. So um, it wasn't me directing them to be great. I think it was them understanding the importance and showing up and doing good work. And, and uh, I mean, I'd love that. And Asia, do you want to speak too? I, I, I completely agree. It, it was exactly that. You know, when you get a story like this, I always think I wish I had known this story more clearly when I was in high school. I wish I could have seen this when I was in high school when I was feeling inadequate and just not enough to see people that look like me standing up for themselves, rising up to fight for what they believe in, fighting for their own justice. It would have meant everything to me and so I'm so proud to be a part of something that can give that story to some other young child. 